Right, if you're looking for an easy way to successful trading, this is not that video for you. You're probably better off clicking off the video right now. This is not gonna be it. This is gonna be applicable steps to actually improving your trading by a step-by-step -step process. You know, a lot of the things that I've learned over the years are gonna come into this video as well. And then we're also gonna jump on the charts and I'm gonna show you a few key examples of how to actually simplify your trading and also increase your strike rate. So without further ado, let's get into it. Right, so I think the first thing to say before we actually get into the charts and you know talk about that kind of thing is just to get a little bit vulnerable and just basically tell you the reality of trading. Um, trading's without a shadow of a doubt the hardest thing I've ever done. Without a shadow of a doubt, nothing even comes close. Um, you know, so tough. I remember times even when I started, because I started in 2016, right? So the first two or three years I'd had a lot of moments where I just wanted to kind of just call it quits and just finish up. I was never going to actually quit because that's not within my personality. I'm kind of like all or nothing. So I'm just like, right, I'm either all in or I'm not doing this at all. So I went all in on trading, um, but I just never, I was never going to quit, but I had moments where I was like, this is hard, man. Um, you know, I had moments in 2017, 2018, where I literally fell asleep back testing on the desk, like legit. Um, had days where like, staying up till 1, 2 a.m. in the morning, up at half five for work. Then you're doing a full day of work, nine to five. Then I've got college straight afterwards. Then I'm coming home trying to, trying to you know, work on my trading as well. Looking back, it was a bit stupid because prioritize sleep, super key. But back then, I didn't really have time for that. So I had to kind of make the most of the time I had during the day. Um, yeah, so to summarize, one of the toughest things I've ever done. To help you with that though, I think people come into the, well I know, I shouldn't even say I think, I know people come in with the wrong expectation of trading because they come in straight and they think, and I don't get me wrong, I did the same, so if you've done this, it's, it's okay, it's fine, I've done this myself. You just get sucked into the marketing of Forex, etc, right? If more people, including myself when I first started, so this is almost like a, a bit of a lesson to my past self as well, if you'd appreciate it, and treat it like a university degree. Now in the UK for university, you would have three or four years for a degree. And picture yourself in that position. You may even do uni yourself. If, you, if you're in that situation, you're like, right, you sit back, you know you've got three or four years to slog it out, to work hard, put the hours in, and then eventually you're obviously gonna get um, what you want if you're obviously going down that corporate route, right? So if more people would appreciate trading like that and just accept, right, it's a three, four, five year journey at least, Let's just accept that that's the, that's the journey. Let's just actually put the hours in, put the effort in, put the energy in, give it time, not have any expectations to make any money for the first six, 12 months, even 24 months, and just build up the skill. That will completely change people's journeys, right? Because even myself, you get into trading initially to make money, then you start to realize, right, I'm actually doing this for the freedom, I'm doing this for other reasons. You start to develop a big why for it, etc. But initially, it tends to be money. So you come in and for the first six, 12 months, in the back of your mind, you're always like, I wanna make money, I wanna make money, I wanna make money. So that is a toxic mindset to have in trading. That will come as a side effect in time, but if you can just appreciate, it's gonna take you two, three, four, five years to actually build the skill and build the skin in the game with the experience, that's gonna leave you in good stead for trading. Believe me, if I'd have, if I'd have had that lesson, if I'd have had that wake up call, in the first six months of my journey, it drastic difference. So you're not forcing anything, you're not rushing, right? Because I spoke to someone yesterday about it and they're like 19, 20 years old. And even then they get, it's easy to get sucked into the cycle of, you know, wanting to, to make money quick in the markets, but you can't want to make money quick in the markets. You have to like, essentially just sit back, relax and do the work and let the work take care of itself because otherwise, you end up forcing things and you're never gonna make it as a trader. And that's the cold hard truth. And if you do sit back and if you do trust the process, you'll tend to make money a lot quicker. So that's a really interesting observation for, for a lot of you as well. Remember, there are no shortcuts. There's no easy road. There's no easy route to success. A lot of you may think you know that, but your actions tell me something different. You know, the amount of styles that are, that are cropping up right now with terms of like, algo is the new one. and a lot of people are coming over from different styles to then go to algo and it's just a constant cycle, a constant pendulum swing of 
new things cropping up, a lot of hype behind it, people gravitate towards it, trade it for six months, learn some of the concepts, decide it's not for them and then switch again. And the problem is you're not giving your style or strategy enough time to play out. You have a probability model, you have a learning period within each strategy. You can't expect something to play out in six, 12 months. And then for you to keep changing things, you're never gonna get anywhere because you're not giving price, structure, the markets, yourself, enough time for the edge and the probabilities to actually play out. So really bear that in mind, that's the secret that a lot of people need. That's the wake up call that a lot of people need. Because there's people that I started with that they're still changing styles, they're still changing styles. Very few people that I started with are actually still trading to this day. But a lot of them that are still trading are still going from system to system. There's only a handful of people that are actually sticking to their guns and to look at where they are now, they're doing really well for themselves. So take a message from that and don't keep changing systems. Stick to what you've got, improve it, refine it, get better, and just let the probabilities play out. That's the ultimate key. But anyway, let's dig into the markets because there is a, a thing that I want to show you, right? Now, this is more sort of from a, a one hour daily perspective. So let's have a quick look at the daily, right? I want to show you a quick example on Eurodoll. And the example is, don't, don't make things hard for yourself. It, at the end of the day in trading, yes, you're going to learn trading from different people. You can have different mentors, different courses, etc. But at the end of the day, you make your own rules, right? Let this sink in. So why not set the rules for yourself to win? Instead of making it difficult, like I've touched on smart money a lot of times, when people are trying to target these big RR trades and uh, have a very low strike rate with, with actually achieving that, why not set you the rules in your favor for you to win, right? So in this example on Euro dollar, the, the market is clearly bearish, right? So we've come from previous high, formed a high high, we've had an internal shift in market structure, price is clearly gravitating to the downside. We actually had three areas that I was looking at in terms of liquidity, which have now been taken as well, which is perfect. But on this road down, even in this environment right here, right? Yes, you can take buys and you can take capture and trades and you know, I, I do that if the right criteria will fit into place. But to make things more simple for you, why not just follow the daily, the daily and the one hour trend? Right, I know it sounds very, very simple and I know there's multiple factors in there as well. But if you were just following natural pro trend environment and you were just taking trades when it pulls back into, let's say premium in this example in selling the environment and you would wait for that pullback to then get involved, how much more simple would your trading be? Instead of trying to catch a falling knife and trying to go against market structure and trying to catch all these little hedge positions and trying, trying to you know, catch these smaller moves, focus on where the, where the market is actually going. Like you can see on the one hour, if we just look at current price, I mean, May hasn't been the cleanest. May has been a slow month overall, but you can see the trend is very bearish. Price is just making low lows, lower highs all the way down. Right, so I know it's not as simple as that, but if you're waiting for pullbacks into certain prices like we have here, where we have lower low, lower high, lower low, then we get that nice corrected pullback into premium pricing. If we just look at that. All right, just ignore all the drawings here. We've got lower low, lower high, new lower low, price is taking liquidity to the left, move to the downside, right? And then we get that corrected pullback. This was Monday. And it's, and it's very simple, you know, there's obviously there's multiple factors involved in that as well. But if you're just trading with the trend, you're anticipating that if the trend is going to continue, this low is going to be taken out, right? So if the trend is going to continue in the bearish momentum, if we're going to make a new low low, that means that this low here becomes weak and will be taken out. So why not just follow a pro trend environment and just make things more simple for you instead of trying to go against the trend trying to trade a counter trend environment like a lot of you are doing, just follow the trend, right? And you see all the way down, I know there's examples of price grabbing liquidity to the left here, forming a new high, high, etc. But overall, for the vast majority of it, you get pullbacks into premium, you're then taking the trade. Pullbacks into premium, taking the trade, etc. So it's such a simple thing to do, but yet most people don't do it. And I know follow, follow the trend is such a cliche thing to say, but if you really simplify trading in its own and we factor in just two time frames on this and look at the daily chart, how impulsively bearish that is and the nature of price here. And then you look at the, the four hour, the one hour, let's have a look at the four hour. Four hour you can see, very bearish on the way down for the past two, three weeks. 
even four weeks, right? One hour, exactly the same. Why not just take advantage of all those moves down? Instead of trying to, like I said, catch these little moves, trying to hedge your position back into certain areas, just play the natural course of the markets. Don't swim against the current of the river. Just play the river, right? Just, just play the current. So here, once again, same thing. Lower low, lower high. Play in the direction, lower low, lower high. Natural trend, you expect this to be taken out. Same thing here, lower low, lower high. You anticipate that this low gets taken out, it does. Same thing here, price forms a lower low, creates a false higher high. Essentially, it's just a liquidity grab above, above this high here. And then what happens? Smashes the low again. So you're just doing the same thing. You're not arguing with the daily chart. The daily chart is almost like a guidance time frame to everything below it. So you gotta understand that price will gravitate towards these daily areas of liquidity very easily and it takes prevalence over something like the four hour or the one hour. So if these two time frames plus three time frames start to align, it becomes a lot more simplified to then just actually catch these trades. It's a very, very simple tip, I know, but you'd be surprised how many people, and I've done this in the past where you're trying to catch fall in knife trades. Like you're going against the direction, I'm not saying you're taking this trade, but you're trying to catch these fall in knife trades as price starts to come down trying to catch a big reversal, a big trade. But if you just follow continuations, higher time frame continuations and play that daily narrative, things become a lot more simplified. I'm just gonna give you a quick lesson as well because I made this mistake myself. So almost allows you to give you guys to learn through me. I think that's the most important thing about these videos. But this was a mistake that I did a while back. I'm talking a few years ago. I was infatuated with full-time trading, right? But when you achieve being a full-time trader, you realize it's kind of like an anti-climax. Trading a lot of the time can be boring. Right now, you know, May has been quite a slow month for myself. I've taken five trades, I think five or six trades, and it's been a slow month. So I'm not sat there 24 seven on the markets looking for trades. I'm waiting for the market to come to me, right? So the way I do it is I obviously have my routine in place. I have systems, I'll do my morning prep. I'll stay around for London open kill zone um, and just observe price. but. If nothing's in my area, I'm not just then gonna sit on the markets and just wait for nothing. I'm gonna start working on other aspects of my life. You know, work on YouTube, work on fitness, work on Envision, work on these different aspects of my life to better myself and better everything I'm trying to do. So that'd be a quick tip for you. You don't need to be sitting on the markets 24 seven and that can be a danger with full-time trading because people do it for the freedom of, right, I don't have to work for a boss anymore, I can work for myself. But then when they work for themselves, they don't, they, don't, they don't actually have the discipline in place to actually stick to a routine. And they just almost become enslaved to the market by looking at the markets 24 seven. But that's a danger in itself. It's a trap that people fall into. They're like, they chase that freedom of full-time trading. They get out of a nine to five to then go back into a nine to five basically for yourself because you're on the markets 24 seven. You may not even be focused on anything else apart from trading you're a slave to the markets, you're a slave to your own thinking essentially. So the best thing you can do is have other aspects of life that you are focused on, whether that's another business, another income, uh, fitness, health, whatever it may be, something to actually divert your energy into, aside from trading, that's gonna better your life. That's a big piece of advice I'll give you because I'm not sat here, like I said, on the markets 24 seven, I'm working on other things, if something sets up in the markets, I've already got alert set, I know what I'm looking at in the markets, I'll take the trade, I'll manage it accordingly. And the way I do it, if I'm working on something else and the market shapes up, I'll just drop everything and just really focus on, on the markets when I need to. But if nothing's there, like it hasn't been in May, just literally focus on other areas. It's a shame to pause all aspects of life just in the markets. Why not completely level yourself up in every aspect of life, including trading? That is the best way to approach it. So. Just a quick piece of advice because a lot of people want to seem to become chart wizards and spend 18 hours a day on the charts, but they're not working on themselves. They're not working on health and fitness. They're not working on relationships. They're not working on family life, all these different things. So it's important to actually have other areas to really focus on and better yourself in as well. That's key. But overall, some final words of advice. Trading is, like I said at the beginning of the video, arguably the most difficult thing I've ever had to do in my life. But the rewards on the other side and the satisfaction you'll get from actually getting to a certain level will top that 
20 times over. So if you just keep consistent with what you're doing, instead of being so focused on the outcome of, you know, setting these goals of 10% per month or 10% prop firm challenges and trying to really be focused on making money all the time, focus on putting the correct systems in place, put the correct processes and routines in place. Everything else tends to come as a side effect anyway. Um, that's something that I've noticed over the years. So if you really just focus on everything you're doing daily, let's say your markups, your forecasting, making sure you're prepared ahead of time, you take the trades, everything else will come as a byproduct of that. You just have to focus on putting the correct systems in place and then sticking to it. That is the key. So it's a difficult thing, but if you love it and the passion's there, there's no reason why you can't make it, but you just have to persist long enough for the rewards to actually come because most people don't make it that far. The graveyard in trading is full of people with lots of potential that just didn't didn't persist long enough. If you can just persist that extra little bit longer and just give yourself more time, you have every chance of making it in the game of trading. It's just, it just takes time. Just give it time, come in with the right expectations on time and how long it's gonna take and you will set yourself up for success longer term if you just persist long enough. So key piece of advice there, but overall, hope you've enjoyed today's video. A lot of uh, things to really think about and take away. Catch you all in the next one. Have a good week ahead in the markets. Speak to you all soon.